Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to restore your Dell Windows 10 computer back to factory state. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. You either want to left one little settings icon left, which just appears as a little gear icon when you hover over it, or type in settings into the start menu, whichever you prefer. And now when you're on a screen that appears like this, you want to scroll down until you get to update and security. Left click on the update and security tile. And now on the left, you want to left click on the recovery tab. On recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on this get started button right here. Now underneath choose an option, you have the option to keep my files or remove everything. Please keep in mind, even though it says keep my files, it is going to remove apps and settings. So any programs you have installed, and if you don't have your documents saved in the right locations, it could remove them as well. So just please keep that in mind. I would recommend if you choose to keep your files or remove everything, still make a backup of your files, such as documents and pictures, to an external media source like a USB flash drive, a DVD, USB stick, or whatnot. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to select remove everything, removes all your personal files, apps, and settings. So I'm going to left click on that. It's going to say get anything's ready. And depending on what choice you make back there will affect some of the later choices we're going to make. So it's going to ask you when to clean the drives too. First option, just remove my files, which is quicker but less secure. Second option, remove files and clean the drive. Basically, it's a difference if you're going to be keeping your computer for yourself, which I'd recommend the first option. Or if you're going to be donating your computer to another party, I'd recommend selecting the second option. First option will be also quicker, which is an additional benefit. So it's going to say this won't take long, and then we're going to have a final prompt here just to confirm that resetting will remove all personal files and user accounts on this PC, all apps and programs, and any changes made to settings. This will take a while, again, depending on your hardware specifications and how fast your computer is in general. So we're going to left click on reset here. This will take some time. Your computer will restart. So please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Alright everybody, I'm back. So it looks like the factory reset was successful. At this point, you should be able to reinstall any applications you wanted to reinstall. Put your documents and pictures back on your computer. I would also recommend creating the system restore point once you're done getting your computer set up to a basic workable configuration for your needs. And that's about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.